he's staying in power. Nangagwa Emerson Dambuzo of Zanupia Party is therefore duly declared elected president of the Republic of Zimbabwe. Shortly after the results of his victory were announced, President Nangagwa took to Twitter with a message of national unity. While he acknowledged divisions, he called his victory a new beginning. It's unlikely to produce much sympathy from the opposition, members of whom interrupted the announcement before being taken off stage. They are not credible. They are fraudulent elections. Actually, when we don't, be given, when we don't get the right to verify the results, we cannot say they are, they are credible. Their criticisms, a long delay in announcing the results of the presidential vote, a biased electoral commission, improper roles, and intimidation. International observers on the ground have echoed some of those points. What we as the EU tried to say was that there are various freedoms provided during the election, the freedom of assembly, freedom of expression, etc. Uh, but there were some serious concerns with regards to the, uh, uh, the uh, fairness of the process. It wasn't a level playing field. There was a misuse of state resources, bias in the state media. The opposition MDC, for its part, has vowed to challenge the results in court. Government forces also stormed the coalition's offices in Harare on Thursday. While city streets remained calm, it came a day after a lethal crackdown on protesters. The events are a blow to the image of an Angagua, hoping to gain international legitimacy and the lifting of sanctions in the first election since the ouster of longtime President Robert Mugabe.